Prosecutors earlier asserted that Glencore cheated the free market to gain a competitive edge, paying over $100 million in bribes to government officials in Brazil, Nigeria, the Democratic Republic of Congo and Venezuela. They contend that the company paid bribes to secure oil contracts, to avoid government audits and to judges to make lawsuits disappear. This from a Justice Department press conference last year. Why did Glencore do it? They did it to make money, hundreds of millions of dollars, and they did it with the approval and even the encouragement of top executives. And as we allege in the charges filed today, Glencore tried to cover up the bribery scheme with code words and bribes paid through third party consultants. It didn't work. The U.S. Attorney General said last year that Glencore's crimes exacted great costs across the globe, perpetuating transnational corruption. Glencore made hundreds of millions of dollars in profits from these crimes, including $272 million from the foreign bribery scheme and $144 million from the commodity price manipulation scheme. And these crimes exacted great costs across the globe, perpetuating transnational corruption and manipulating oil prices in two of the largest fuel markets in America. As a result, Glencore has agreed to pay a total of approximately $1.1 billion in criminal fines and forfeiture, including forfeiture of all of Glencore's estimated profits. The company has also agreed to retain independent compliance monitors, both in the United States and overseas. Glencore has further indicated that it expected to pay more than $1.5 billion to settle bribery and market manipulation accusations. The fine confirmed by the Manhattan judge is 15% below what U.S. sentencing guidelines recommend, reflecting the company's cooperation with the investigation and its efforts to improve ethics and compliance internally. Sherwin Bricebees, SABC News, New York.